So I'm starting a new series called Easy Overview. And in this series, I'll be covering different packages, tools, or frameworks related to web development. Uh, these videos will not be full reviews or full tutorials, but rather quick intros and overviews of the main features and highlights. We might even do a few demonstrations, and at the end of the video, I'll show you how to get up and running. So for the first video, I've chosen Tappy. And as you can see here from the homepage, Tappy is an open source, lightweight, modern CSS framework built with Flexbox. You can see here from the front page, the main features are Tappy is lightweight. It's built using the Flexbox grid system. It has fluid typography. Uh, it's built with SAS, which is another thing I like. And here's what I believe is the true highlight of this framework. It's built using the BIM syntax. And if you're not familiar with BIM, that stands for Block Element Modifier. And it's a way of writing uh, your CSS. And you'll also notice that it has zero JavaScript dependencies. And that's because it doesn't include uh, a lot of components, a lot of UI components like a Bootstrap or Foundation does. In fact, that's what it talks itself as having the main advantage uh, compared to those is that you don't have a lot of things that you don't need. It also includes some basic element styles for like fonts and buttons, forms and tables, that kind of stuff. Let's check out the docs. I'm going to click on View Docs. The Getting Started section will, will include an HTML5 boilerplate, and you can just copy that stuff and then include the main file, and you'll be ready to go. Now, I want to point out a few things about some of the features. And I'll start with the grid. So the grid is Flexbox based. And what that means is, and I have a demo here. For the first example, it shows your grid. And then within that grid div, you have uh, a couple of divs here. And you can see here from the output, the grid system is smart enough to know to make the columns equal width. Now what it's showing you here is that there's space between the columns, which you might think means there's margin between them, but actually there isn't. And I'll show you again, I have my example here set up like the documentation page, but if I remove a class, let me just remove this class really quick. I'll just rename it. And I come back here, you'll notice that the space between each of these elements is uh, has collapsed. So that's because the area within the columns is set by its padding. So that's one thing to, to note about this grid system. As you can see here in the second example, I have only two divs in this section. However, they're not equal width. And in the next example, you'll see here that you do have the option to have different sizes uh, for your columns. Of course, this is 25% from our main content area. And then from my secondary content area, I put 75%. Inside the code, it looks like this. And you can see the uh, block element modifier uh, syntax here of the grid column class. You can control column sizing by using is-25p for 25%. And then on the second one, you have 75%. Another thing I want to point out are the buttons. And the buttons are using that uh, BEM syntax that I brought up already a few times. It's kind of hard to tell here, or in my example, what the difference is between the buttons are. So I'll zoom in a bit and let's see if I can. So we have four styles of button. You have rounded corners with a solid color black background, rounded with a transparent background, and then you have the squared version with a background and then the squared with the uh, border and transparent background. In the Taffy CSS, it looks like this. Or excuse me, in the HTML, the CSS classes look like this. You have your BTN, which is your default button, the first one we were looking at. So by default, any link or button that has that class is going to have the full background color and full border with rounded uh, edges. The BTN dash dash ghost version is going to be your second one here. And then, of course, sharp is going to be the uh, squared in edges instead of the rounded. And then ghost sharp will be the same thing with the background as transparent. You can see here at the bottom, I have another example of some grid columns set up. And the text here is centered vertically. The Taffy CSS framework comes with a lot of helpers. They're pretty self-explanatory, text center, or align your content to the center. And in my example here, I used 
vertically centered, which you can see centers content horizontally and vertically, which is pretty cool. And of course, since the framework is written in SAS, you have the use of variables. So this will help you match whatever your uh, design guidelines are. Why don't we go ahead and set up a Taffy project? And then maybe you can check out some of the features and get started. So I have this repository here, and I'll link this in the description. But it's a really very basic starter kit built specifically for these kind of projects where you just want to test something out. If you want to use this, you can click the download link. Uh, just download the zip. And then why don't I create a new project here? Let's see. Lapis. Unpack that. Copy over here. And I'll just call it Taffy. And then inside of my terminal, let me close this really quick. I'll type CD. Actually, let me clear this out. I'll type CD. And then I'm just going to drag this over here and hit return. NPM install. Hit return again. And while that installs, I just want to take the time to remind you that you don't have to use the easy starter. You just need something to compile your uh, SCSS into CSS. What this package includes, though, is uh, Browser Sync and Gulp and Gulp SAS. And so all three of these things uh, will be able to get up and running with Taffy really quickly. Once that's done installing, you'll just simply need to run the Gulp command. And if you see this screen, that means you've uh, set it up correctly. I've already downloaded Taffy, so it's in my downloads folder, but you'll need to do that. Just click on the download button on the home page where it looks like there's one in the docs too. But just download it. And we're just gonna copy components and Taffy, and we'll paste that into our project inside the source folder, the CSS, and we'll paste it like that. Then I'm gonna rename Taffy to underscore Taffy, because I would just want to include this as a dependency in my uh, default SAS file. Add that project. Close this out, close this out as well. Inside the disk folder, you'll see the index.html file. And on the documentation page, I'm going to copy this boilerplate here and paste it here. And I'll add something to the body. I'll just put Taffy is ready. Next thing I'll do is go into my default file and I'm just going to import Taffy. I'll hit save. All right. So in the boilerplate, it's looking for the Taffy file. We need to change this to default. And now after I've saved it, you'll see that the font changed. And that's a sign that you set up Taffy and you're ready to get started. So go ahead and head over to the uh, documentation site and check out some of the features. Thanks for watching.